Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, different types of joins. And the main one I'm going to talk about in this video is left author join, how you can do that. This is independent on any tools you use, any database technologies, but I'm going to show you that how it works in Power BI using Power Query. Let's see how it works. Uh, the process of combining two tables, two data sets is quite common in any database technologies. Uh, you'll find ways to do that in any data transformation tools and languages. You'll see uh, methods to do that. Normally, these methods are called uh, merge or join or um, name, names like that. Uh, as an example, I'm going to show you that how we can have like one table, which is the table of customers beside another table which is a table of um, this is actually the table of customers another table is orders and we are going to have a look at how we can merge them together to create a flattened structure one of the uh, one of the reasons we merge tables together we join tables together is to flatten the structure another reason is normally to find out records that are available in one but not the others or available in this one and the others uh, and things like that. The first type of uh, merge I'm going to talk about in this video series, this is the first one, is the merge type, we call it left author join. This is the default type of merge uh, in most of the um, most of the database technologies. Uh, and what this is saying is that the table that we use as a left side will, uh, will uh, it, it's important which one is the left side, which one is the right side, or let's say from which table you start. The table that we start with is important because uh, we only get from the table from the second table we only get those areas that are common in between them like for example if i start from the orders table here you see that in the orders table i have like these five orders and these are their customer id normally when you merge you merge it based on an id uh, so we merge it based on this ID. So these out of these five orders, there is one order, the order ID number five, which belongs to a customer ID number six. But for some reason, I don't have that customer here, right? Um, and all other orders, uh, they belong to customers one, two, three, and I do have those customers one, two, three. So the result of this merge is normally something like this. This is uh, for every order, I have one record or more, depends on how many customers are related to that. In this case, it would be only one. Uh, so I have one record per order. All of the orders are here because this is left author joint. It starts from the left table, from the main table here. And then it brings all the records from the right table that is either matching or not matching. Now, in this case, that would be for the first uh, order, customer ID one would come here. It is matched. Second one, it is matched. The green one you see here is mean, meaning matched. Uh, fourth uh, one is also matched that both of these are related to the customer three. Uh, then another one is matched and the number five, order ID number five, which is belong to customer ID number six. Because I don't have the customer ID number six, the uh, record is still there, but it shows null values uh, for anything that comes related to that uh, customer, because there is no customer related to that. And uh, that's one thing. Another thing is that in the customer table, I have two other customers, customer ID number four and five, which they don't have any orders um, and they don't appear in this result set, which is in the main section here, because I used left author join. Left author join starts from the first table here and only bring matching rows uh, of the second table. If there is a value in the second table that is not in the matching area, it won't appear in the result set. The result set is this green area. Everything from the left hand side table even if it is not matching, and those that are matching. That is what the left other join is. Now let me show you how this works in 
uh, a Power BI sample here, I have the two tables. These are exactly the two tables I have showed you in that picture. I can go and say get data from an Excel file. Um, so choosing that Excel file, making sure that I'm getting that from the right source. So I'm selecting that file. I need to close it. Let's close it and wait for this to come up. Okay, these are my two tables. It is important which one you use for uh, left, which one you use for the right. So I select uh, them both, then in transform data, which is a place that you can apply merge transformation. And I have explained in details what are uh, the difference between merge and append. Go and check that uh, video or how you can change the merge type and things like that, right? I'm not doing the change type of the date here. I'm keeping these exactly like that. So these are my two tables, the order table and the customer table. From the orders table, I start with merging queries. I merge as new so that you'll see the results separately in another query. And then I choose the second query. So from orders, I merge it with the customers based on the customer ID. I have just one field to join. And this is the place that you can choose the join type. You see that the default is left author, which is all from the first, matching from the second. If you use join in SQL Server, that is using the same approach. The only difference is that you have to write your uh, script. So selecting these, uh, which is the default, and clicking on OK, the result of a merge uh, operation is that the second uh, table would come as a sub table of this. In these areas that there's a matching, this should have rows. You can see that. And in those areas that it's not matching, like for example, for this order, because the customer ID six does not exist, I don't have any matching. So this is empty, right? And then I can expand the details from here, which would be the customer details. Now I've already got the customer ID there, so I don't really need that and I select everything else. So this is the result. As you see, I have every order, the details of, this, of these orders and the columns from the customer only for the RAST record because it's not matching. I don't see any information, but for all others, I do see information and that is exactly how the left author join should work. If you have a table that you want to get every record from that table, Regardless of is this matching the second one or not, that means you want the not matching and you want the matching, then left other join is a good choice to use. For example, here we used it to get all orders, even if that customer doesn't exist in the customer table, uh, but we still want all orders. That is left other join. In other videos, I'll talk about other types of joins and their examples. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.